Bang, needs knives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara's at work, and in this video we have a couple unboxings and some first impressions. So here we have a new Civivi. This is one I have not checked out before. I did order these. Right, this one is, oh uh, man, I forget the name of it. What does it say on here? Uh, I forget the name of it. It'll be in the, obviously, the, probably the name of the video. Uh, Brigand? No, I don't remember. Ooh, first flip. Nice, man, this is why I got this. I got this because look at the profile. It looks like a well done night just looking at it i know this is probably frn i don't like frn but neutral handle deep hollow grind and i could see that it was a nice hollow grind beautiful drop point perfect size for edc you do have a little spot there you can call it sharpening choil or finger choil it seems like it works pretty good this oh let's all right let's check the action out all right yeah Oops. i slept that was my fault yeah this is on point this is on point at least from what i could see centering um a little to the right normally civivis don't come with uh bad centering i mean the, the lockup solid feels nice and smooth that's weird um was not expecting that but that's fine no i'm not worried about it, about that as long as it's not scraping pocket clip if it will focus it looks good i mean it's on top but they do have if you notice on this side how they have a cutout so it is inset a little bit so looks like a great pocket clip there's a little bit of texturing here Coated blade. I think this is 9CR. Yep, 9CR 18 MOV. Yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot, a lot, a lot. Granted, I do wish it was G10, but let's check that edge. Oh, that's a good edge. This doesn't even look like a factory edge. They did a remarkable job on this edge. This is brand new. They did a pretty good job on the edge. I'll give them credit for the edge. Um, they look like they went to a pretty high grit for uh, compared to standard. Good job, Spivy. Okay, let's check out this one. This, okay, so this. Oh man, this is an look at what they did. It's like it's got foam on the inside. I like the thought. But man, it gets all over. Look at this stuff. It's like it's snowing in here. Let me get rid of this. All right, now we're back. Let's check these out. Two Sen Cuts. Ooh, I've been wanting to check out more of their like ultra budget line because this to me, I sorry about that. So I feel like this could fall into their sun cut line frn and 9cr i you know i don't know what the difference is maybe it's just an advertising thing oh i got the red one this does come in different colors t8 hardware oh man this is already impressing me nice centering it looks like beautiful all right first flip oh that's nice that's nice this feels a lot like their um oh man come on guys wow that's got some fire action great placement for it i got a full grip great placement for that jimping and when you choke up nice and thin behind the edge great thickness of the spine this is what i'm talking about guys this is awesome this is a good knife right here both of them are a great knife this one's impressing me even more. I can't tell if this is FRN or G10 because I've always been under impressed with their G10, but it's weird. This is G10. 
This is FRN. I can tell the difference a little bit. And wow, this is only 20 bucks though. Guys. I think, no, no, I'm sorry. I ordered a different knife for 20 bucks. Um, I think this is 50, 40, or 50. I forget. I'll, I'll put it on the screen. I do not remember. One more. Let's get into, man, this is nice. Holy cow, what steel is that? That's got to be D2. Okay, D2. A nice edge again. Beautiful edge. Four factory. You know, I obviously uh, would prefer my edge over the factory edge, but yeah, that thumb stud action and flipper action is amazing on there. Come on. I'm trying to do this under the camera. I don't remember what this one is, to be honest. I remember this one. So knives are four, right? Ooh, what is this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, now I remember. That's nice. Micarta. Wow. Wow, that clothes was really smooth. It's like a, a gray micarta. I think I've seen this on Slicey Dicey's. What the hell is that? All right. Thumb studs look a little different. Let's check them. Oh, yeah. Look at that drop. That is smooth. This feels like a great knife. Like, just, like, it's hard to explain, but that smoothness right here is ultra smooth. Let me feel this one. This one's smooth and this one's smooth, but this is on another level right now. I haven't oiled them yet, so I can only imagine it'll get better. Centering is great. Lock up. So tight. This one's really, really tight. This one, possibly a little side to side, but I can tighten that. Maybe that's why it's ridiculously smooth. The thumb studs are pretty good. They're a little tight to here, but they grab you pretty good. I thought they were going to be slick. Oh, no, they do have a little texturing. You can see the texturing on the thumb studs. Liner, easy to get to, easy access. Let's check the drop. Okay, I can kind of hold it back right there if I leave my finger there, but very nice. Oh, yeah, past the detent right away. Look how early that detent is. That means it's going to be a fidget-friendly knife. That was my fault. Very small flipper tab, too, if you look, but it's got jumping all the way around, so you can push button it or light switch it. It just works. Let's check the grind. Is this a flat? I don't know. Let me check really quick. Yes. Yeah, it looked like a hollow in the pictures. If it is a hollow, it's such a slight hollow. Um, It's a very, very shallow hollow. It's not like these two. These two got some good hollows. But it's still nice and thin behind the edge. Good sharpening toil. You could place your finger there. Because, man, it's just... Seems like such a working blade shape. Look at that. Look at them cuts. I mean, that, that it's a small pack. I mean, it's, I hate to say package, but it's a small knife, um, but a good size knife when it comes to work. Man, that thing impresses me. I'm trying to think of the knife that this reminds me of. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Savivi makes it. Um, Oh, I gave one away one time. It was donated to us from um, Gear Toward Gear, I think, donated it to us. And then we donated it. To, I think that's who it was, man. I, I'm going to feel like such a dick right now if I'm wrong. Um, man, that action. That's nice. These are all nice. Can't wait for the review. I'm definitely going to beat on them, sharpen them, and... You know, I'm always impressed when I sharpen a Civivi. And that's, this is where I keep yelling about, about sharpening and about a knife, making it, making a good knife for long term. Meaning you're going to, you're going to get multiple sharpenings out of it. It's easy to sharpen. Um, and I don't mean the steel's easy to sharpen. I mean the grind and they, they just make it good. They make nice, even, a nice, even grind, give you a good sharpening choil um tip matches up and it just good blade shape easy blade shape for um sharpening like just a knife that you can tell 
was thought about to use, not to put in a cabinet, but to use. Man, wouldn't this be awesome if they made these knives in titanium? Just like this, leave the blades the same way they are. I mean, you can improve the steel, but titanium, but the grinds, the, the blade shapes, the everything, titanium, that would be amazing. This one's awesome that it's in micarta, but you know where I'm getting at. You know, a high-end knife with these blade shapes, these grinds, that would be amazing. So Vivi definitely does a good job with that. All right, guys, the review will be coming soon. I love you guys. Peace.